So that's the original photo. And you see how the sun is rising right there? Yes. Okay, so that's one of the sky. I took another sky where the sun was rising right there. Yeah, and so this guy matches. It's just a better sky. So, and I, on this one, I've been using Luminar and Photoshop, but Photoshop won like big time. I love Luminar, but on some of these guys, I lose Luminar and the masking was not perfect. And mm. as a result of that, I had to redo them all in Photoshop. The Photoshop sky replacement is pretty it's good. It's unbelievable. <laughs> it's very good. Unbelievable. So, you know, you just go to uh, a couple of tricks. You go to a file, sky replacement, and then boom. By default, it's going to use Alaska you use. So boom, this one actually matched because <laughs> totally <coughs> randomly. You can flip the sky. A lot of people don't know this, but you can flip the yeah, sky. So to like put the sun so in you the right proportions. So you have to put, yeah. One thing a lot of people don't know is you can move the sky up and down and position it exactly mm -hmm. how you want. But don't go left or right because if you do that, you are in trouble. Well, you'd have to scale up if you did that. Yeah. One thing that's really annoying with Photoshop that Luminar has, it doesn't handle a reflection. And so I have to do more. It's a little harder to show you like this, but check this out. So when I go here, I got on this computer, I got a big collection of skies. Just Back in the day when library. Photoshop came out, you click here on plus yep. and you can add as much as you want. And for the anecdote, like the first year, you could only add one sky at a time. And I got interviewed by the, mm -hmm. the team at Photoshop at Adobe. They I did like not a podcast, but they wanted, because I do a lot of sky replacement, they interviewed mm -hmm. me. And I'm the one that said, please make it in a way so I can load 60 sky yeah, at once. Give me a folder. You know, give me a folder. Yeah. So, you know, but on this photo, I wouldn't use like something like that, you know, or this one maybe, but like you have to match the sky or. You yeah. Know, so like, you want the sun coming in low, uh, low on the horizon. Yeah. Kind of like up. that, that's kind of weird because like the, it, yeah. it just doesn't match. Like that's a sky that's way too bright for this photo, you know? So it's really, you know, of course I wouldn't use like a day sky like this or. Yeah. So anyway. Pretty straightforward. So, okay, I'll let me go back to the right sky on this one. Um, I love this guy. This is in the spectacular. Adobe provided that sky. Uh, it doesn't work for this photo because the, the sun is not at the right location. See, the sun is in the middle yeah. and, and my sun was here. So I wouldn't do that. But Well, this... the other thing I would say is if you're going to do this, better to shoot your own skies than use somebody else's yeah. sky. Yeah, that sky is the most used sky in the world. That's why I yes. have my own collection. <laughs> Because, oh my gosh, I can't, you know. So, okay, this one I can use, for example, but this, this you yeah, see, the, gotta the, I got to flip it because yeah. it's not at the, at the right location. So what I do is I flip it and then I position it. I'm like, oh, too much sun. I can go a bit lower, you know, and right. boom. And then a uh, little trick, like let's say I wanted to add some reflection in the water. So one thing that you can do is you can take where the sky is, press Command J to duplicate the sky. Then you have to right click and you have to um, ungroup the sky, the un unlick, unlick layers. Because when you do command J, it's going to be licked. And now I can delete the mask. So delete layer mask. Sorry, I don't, it's a bit a little far. And then I'm going to zoom out. Command T, right click, flip vertical. You want to have it flip vertical. Oh, uh, just, yeah, I didn't take it. There you go. Okay, flip vertical. Then you hold on the shift key to lower the sky. You put, okay, I want to get a bit of that reflection on the water. So then you go into multiply mode. And then you hold on the option key yeah, and then boom. And so I press alt so that it's invisible and I can then br just yeah, brush. Just gonna brush in the sky. I'm just going to brush back in some of the reflection on the water if I wanted to, just a little bit. You know, not a, not a huge deal, but... You know, you get the idea. And because yeah, I use a multiply, could, you could do a better, yeah. You know, I'll do a better job. Like, yeah. okay, I'll lower the, just a little bit. But now, nah, yeah, quick sky replacement. Vivo Las Vegas. <laughs>